Well, you can take your pick in terms of who actually starts. It'll be Chris Paul, Kobe Bryant, Tyson Chandler, LeBron James, and Carmelo Anthony. And the USA already with its first turnover. Carmelo Anthony with the slam. That in a nutshell, friend, is what they want to do, That's right? That's exactly right. Against the zone, you don't want to settle for just jump shots. You've got to have an inside-out attack. And USA right now just getting their feet wet. But this is the strategy that John Calipari told his team today at the shoot-around. Make them shoot jumpers. You see the great passing skills of LeBron James with a nice feed inside to Carmelo Anthony for the bucket. Terry Colangelo from USA Basketball is put together with this program. And he'll be joining us shortly, and Carmelo Anthony shaken up on that rebound. Might have gotten hit in the face. Here's Durant pulls the trigger. And that's what they did in 2010 to win the World Championships of Basketball. Orford on the drive. Here's Westbrook. USA in transition. LeBron with the alley-oop. Showtime in Vegas. And that's only the opening act. That in a nutshell is the way they want to play. And the USA now leading 10 to 4. I, don't, I wouldn't say cynics, but there are probably some people that said, a college coach coaching these guys. What did you see in Mike Krzyzewski that led you to believe he could do what he's done with this team? Fred, he's, he's a great leader. He has great respect by players on all levels of the game. Jerry, uh, news today coming that Blake Griffin has gone back to Los Angeles to have an MRI and then on Sunday to be examined by yes. Clipper doctors. Uh, what can you tell us about the extent of his injury? He seemed very strong in camp without any issues. And even yesterday, he had a terrific workout. He felt great last night. He woke up this morning with some discomfort and some swelling. So he went home. And uh, now we await to see what's going to take place. Fortunately, Anthony Davis was here because we wanted to look at him earlier. Kevin Durant with another three ball on the way. That's three for him already. Jerry, it's looking like Turkey all over again with his three-point shooting. You know, one thing about Kevin, with, I think we all know that, he needs to get some shots. Um, he needs to get into a rhythm. And once he does, I mean, he's almost unstoppable. Now, I was talking to Mike Krzyzewski earlier in the summer, and he talked about guys like Westbrook, Love, Durant, have used Team USA almost as a springboard to their NBA careers. From the corner, Iguodala with another three ball. Andre Iguodala did a great job defensively for USA Basketball in Turkey during the World Championships. Off the turnover, Chris Paul. Durant with a two-hand flush. This is a good test for Team USA. Dominican Republic not as talented, obviously, but they've been together, as you mentioned, for a month. They grabbed the double team on Kobe, but it, it didn't matter. Kind of works out that way a lot of times for the Black Mamba. The other thing, Mark, is when you play 100 games a year and you want to talk about pick and roll defenses or other adjustments, they're all so used to it. And this guy, that three-point line for him, that's like taking candy from a baby right now. For those viewers who are thinking about Spain, there's no, no Ricky Rubio this year. Rudy Fernandez is coming off back surgery, and the king, Juan Carlos Navarro, has had a very injury-plagued season. Layup. That's his fifth three-pointer, and the meter's still running. Fran, you talk about the chemistry of this team, and, and Kevin Durant, in a lighthearted moment yesterday at practice, took a charge and stood in there, I mean, took a charge against uh, DeMarcus Cousins, who was playing for the select team, and... His teammates all stood up, applauded him as LeBron was part of the crew, hits the three, applauded KD, and then kind of turned and snickered at each other and said, we never seen him do that during the NBA season. Iguodala from outside. Boy, he's found the range from downtown. Andre Iguodala is three of five you know, from downtown. In terms of their overall impact on the game, I'd have to say that that original well, 92 team had a sublime impact. And, now, Pau Gasol has talked yes. openly about being in Barcelona as a kid and watching Scottie Pippen and David Robinson and Michael Jordan. That really inspired him to become a great basketball player. You're, you're, you couldn't be more right on. It's a team that changed basketball around the world forever. It brought the world closer together. Durant trying to punctuate a very productive first half for him with another jump shot. We mentioned earlier they're all the leading scorers on their teams, but they all have an inbounds play right there. Well, you can bat that ball off the, the basket. Horford and Baez did not get a piece of it. A little bit of contact. No call. Jose Carrion, a referee from Puerto Rico, 
Says play on. Horford hardly couldn't get the layup. Actually, that was Baez. Here's Williams back for USA. And Williams with a nice move to the bucket. His seven, second field goal here early in the third quarter. Armella with the rebound. USA leading 55-31. Bryant on the move, raising up. And Kobe with a little artistry. Inside, Durant comes up with a pitch. USA on the move. Out to his teammate. Anthony with the slam. We get coming up on Monday night. It'll be the USA against Brazil from Washington, D.C. And boy, Andre Iguodala knocks down his fourth three pointer. That jumper way off the mark. Iguodala with the rebound. He's like a Swiss Army knife. A lot of different functions for Team USA. But Collins really got him to buy into the team concept. Nice feed. Chandler inside with the finish. Westbrook with a nice dime on the play. Off the steal, here's Harden. A three on one. Throws it up. Durant with the flush. Aslan, nice speed inside, and Chandler with the block. There's the defensive anchor of the team. The reigning NBA Defensive Player of the Year gets it done on offense. Great feed by Iguodala. Oh, great pressure. By this kind of pressure. Westbrook. That ball hit the, the shot clock, Mark, so it's a violation, but you saw the defensive pressure of Russell Westbrook. Whistle dead ball and Dominican Republic ball coming back the other way. Westbrook, yep, just suffocating defense. Iguodala, wow! Check out the bench. Every one of those guys is up right now. This is the camaraderie we talked about. As a coach, the way to eliminate size is to make sure the ball never gets to size. And the way you do that is with pickup. Iguodala. Exactly. But you want to pick the ball up as far out on the court as you can and harass the guard play so it's not easy to throw it into the Gasols into Serge Ibaka. Westbrook and one. Using the left hand. DR coming back the other way. Coronado with the jump. Rebounded by Chandler. Quick outlet to Harden. There's that Euro step that he loves. Stepping all the way for a layup. None of us knew what to expect, really giving our summer up and dedicating it to USA basketball, but Chuck made it fun. You know, he allowed guys to really enjoy their summers, but when it came down to business, it was really about playing basketball, focusing, playing hard defense, and playing well together. What did it mean, Scotty, when you look at where you are in the stratosphere of basketball players and combining international and NBA basketball, you're one of just a couple players to win an NBA championship and a gold medal in the same year. LeBron James trying to do the same thing right now. What does that mean? Well, it's, it's, it's just great. You know, at that time, I was on a very high uh, winning two championship and being a part of a, a great team that they had put together. And, you know, uh, when you're playing such good basketball, you you really want to get on the big stage. And this is what it's about. One of the indelible images from the 92 Olympics was the game against Croatia and your soon-to-be teammate, Tony Kukoc. You and Michael Jordan had him on lockdown, and in seeing the 30-30 documentary on the Dream Team, I didn't realize it was as bad as it actually was. What did Tony say to you in the wake of that when you became teammates? Uh, he said, you guys tried to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Love jumps in and draws the foul. It'll be an opportunity for a four-point play. Lighter might have been a little bit better. It still works for Kevin Love. He is in the corner, another look, not hesitating, and knocks down another three ball. Good to see when you consider the fact that he has been struggling a little bit, albeit in practice, shooting that long ball. Young man, uh, Towns, uh, a real talent at 6'11", has a size 20 shoe. Oh, nice pass. pass. Yep. He, look at this, he gets Fortuna. an assist, he's on the board. Harden with the run out. And Harden, well, Towns uh, got posterized a little bit there. <laughs> How about Guzman? Young man played at Bemidji State. Did you ever think we'd say Bemidji State tonight? Not quite. That's a father-in-law went to school there. <laughs> a little chilly up there yes. for a guy from the DR. <laughs> well, That's a is, good recruiting job. Uh, all you need is a parka. Oh, man. <laughs> Whoever recruited him did a nice job getting away from that warm weather. But and they took him on his visit for the summer. Chandler up top with the hammer. 
Russell Westbrook can move. Tell you when you coach a guy like this, you 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 heard the cynics during the NBA playoffs complain about him being too offensive minded, plays with tunnel vision sometimes. But you're talking about an ultimate elite elite competitor. He gives it to you on both ends of the floor. Another turnover created by the United States. Here's Williams. Harden for three. The United States shooting pretty well from downtown at about 39%. Williams with a sweet crossover. But I still would not sleep on Brazil. We'll get a chance to see them on Monday and we'll get a closer look. That'll be a lot more competitive game than this one. Well, right? I don't think there's any question. You're talking about Nene and Barajal, who's now healthy, and Barbosa and Splitter. You've got some very crafty veteran players that NBA fans haven't heard of. Certainly can play. Larry Taylor, naturalized right. American. How about Anthony Davis? Anthony Davis on the scoreboard. Harden weaving through traffic. Couldn't finish. And Davis does. Davis with the three. And one. Welcome to the club, rookie. Round of applause. A lot of hand claps. The final score 113-59.